Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Mazgaon Dock Limited MDL is the only Indian shipyard which is having experience and expertise to build destroyers. At present MDL is executing project 15B Vishakhapatnam class of destroyers which will be complete by the end of year 2024. MDL has also started discussion with Indian Navy on next generation destroyer NGD during its investor call for quarter 1 of financial year 2023 the firm has informed that a total of 8 NGDs will be built under two phases the entire project is estimated to worth 10 billion dollars MDL is also procuring a new floating dry dock to accommodate the massive 10000 ton of next generation destroyer we always had concern about the number of vertical launch system or missiles that indian navy warship can carry and seems like indian navy's warship design bureau has taken it seriously indian navy has released a video showcasing its next generation combat management system in the video you can notice eight cell vls arranged in 3 by 3 configuration which means there are total 72 vls in the front what is not clear is the number of vls at aft the warship is shown mostly from the front where the vls farm at front seems to be more than the one at the aft however if both are of same size the destroyer will have 144 vls in total but if the vls at the aft is smaller than one in front it will have 48 vls and in total it will be 120 there are eight slant launchers as well so in my opinion from what it seems it is going to be 120 vls plus eight slant launchers the vls also seems to be a u vls that is universal vertical launch system being developed by drdo the another key takeaway from the video is the network centric warfare and the communication between the warships which could also be sharing of threat information this is following the 3c principle which is command control and communication which forms the backbone of integrated combat system The design caters for optimal interoperability, targeting manned and unmanned teaming operations in an ever-evolving new age warfare. The most noticeable change in Project 18 class destroyers is going to be their radars. In almost all the latest naval warship, we can see Israel's MF Star mast mounted radar. This will be likely to be replaced with DRDO's long-range multifunction radar LR MFR. The INS Anvesh, a technology demonstration vehicle, is being built by DRDO at Cochin Shipyard Limited and has been fitted with the housing of a new type of dual panel long range radar system by LRD called Long Range Multifunctional Radar. It is an active phased array radar with a range more than 500 km and features octagonal face plates that are approximately 5.5 to 6 m in diameter. Therefore, instead of mast mount radars, NGD may feature a multi-phased, active-phased array radar based on LRMFR. The NGD will require two types of main APR radars: one for short wavelength and another one for longer wavelength. LRMFR will perform the role of tracking targets to fire control of SAMs and BMDs. The NGD will feature Hamsa NG, a third-generation ship-borne hull. mounted sonar system developed by DRDO and produced by PL The next generation destroyer will be built to fire arrays of indigenous weapons for anti-surface, anti-submarine and land attack roles. With 128 VLS, the warship will have a massive firepower. The key weapons of the destroyer will be Brahmos missile, Brahmos NG, LRSAM ER, Nirbhay or ITCM LSEM, MRSAM, XRSAM, VLSRSAM and AED. The destroyer will be equipped with lighter version of smart anti-submarine warfare missiles for taking out enemy submarines and advanced torpedo decoy system. The missile has a range of 643 km carrying a light torpedo of range 20 km and 50 kg of high explosive warhead. 
the 533 mm varunastra is likely to be the main torpedo armament the ngd may also feature a uvls that is universal vls which will eliminate the need for multiple missile launchers it will feature a 127 mm main naval gun and 376 mm super rapid guns navy has even planned to integrate dew that is direct energy weapons DIDO is in process of developing 100 kilowatt dew called Durga 2. PSU has also developed a 25 kilowatt dew that can neutralize a ballistic missile at a range of 5 kilometers. BEL is already producing the laser dazzlers for Indian Navy warship. The dew to be used in NGD may be a version of 100 kilowatt dew being developed by DIDO. The dew will be used as a close in weapon system. and may complement or supplement the traditional CIWS. DIDO is also working on electromagnetic railgun. It has already developed 10 megajoule railgun and 100 megajoule capacitor based railgun is under development which could be possibly integrated with warship and could replace the naval guns. The NGD will have a huge power requirement due to its larger size and massive radars and possible integration of dues and rail guns the huge power requirement could be met with the help of integrated electric propulsion which is the future of propulsion in warship the iep eliminates the need for clutches and gear boxes by using electrical transmission rather than mechanical transmission of energy making the warship easy to maintain silent and stealthier lnt and didio is working on didio's already launched program which is called gas turbine enabling technology for developing the marine propulsion the plant gas turbine will deliver up to 36 megawatt and destroyer may have two of these to deliver a power of 72 megawatt in a configuration with two diesel generators of 10 megawatt each and two electric propulsion motors of 20 megawatt the tata advanced systems limited which has designed platform bridge and combat management system in past will work on the diesel generators and motors this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector